हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल स्पिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शो इन यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रियली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज हाउ टू यूज कॉकपिट टू सेट अप अ वेब इंटरफेस फॉर योर लिनिक सर्वर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Well cockpit is a service that is for Linux that provides a web based interface with the help of which you can manage and monitor host it can also be deployed in any size of organization even a small office and it's work as a gateway for home users to maintain the family IT infrastructure or any other infrastructure and networks you can also install it on raspberry pi Cockpit basically allows you to manage Linux devices on your network remotely and you can also manage your servers. You can add or remove users connect network file system which is NFS and you can share and start and stop services with the help of your Cockpit. So the first thing that you need to use Cockpit is you should have a server running at a moment. I'll show you that I have a Ubuntu server installed and it is up and running. This is my Ubuntu server and at the moment it is up and running. So first of all we need to have its IP address. So I will just write here if config hit enter and here we have IP address which is 127.0.0.1. This is our home address. So we will use this IP address to access this server with the help of cockpit. So I'll head back to my Ubuntu machine. and i will install cockpit into that one and from there i'll use a web browser to access this ubuntu server you can also install cockpit in this one but it is better to use in some machine that have a particular gui this is my ubuntu and now i'll open my terminal so in my terminal first of all we need to install our cockpit so the command for that is sudo apt install space cockpit hit enter I have already done that but I'm just showing you that how you can install it. And as you can see here it says cockpit is already the newest version because I have already installed it. Now it's time to launch our web browser and in our web browser we will access our Ubuntu server with the help of our cockpit. So I'll just launch my Mozilla Firefox. Well one thing is very important here and that is Cockpit itself is nothing. It is just a graphical user interface that allows you to control and manage your servers and different infrastructures. So now as if you remembered, we had an IP address of our Ubuntu server as 127.0.0.1 and after that we have to use a port number and the port number for Cockpit is 9090. So I'll just enter that one and hit enter. And now it will open our cockpit gui and now i will just enter my username and my password and we have successfully logged in into our cockpit gui here it says ubuntu it means at the moment we are running or you can say we are managing ubuntu server so here we have all the information about our server at the moment here if you see first of all we have usage at the moment our server is using around 95% of our cpu in terms of memory it is using around 1.6 gigabytes and in case if you want to see whole graphs of the system and all the information just click on view graphs so here you will have all the information and all the data about your server what it is doing and how much resources it is consuming at the moment here you have your cpus you have your memory and swappiness values and their readings then you have your network traffic disk input output i'll head back And here you have your system information. This is the model. Then you have its tag and you have machine ID. In case if you want to go through the hardware details, you can do so. You just need to click on this link and it will open everything up. And at the end, we have configuration about our Ubuntu server. This is the Ubuntu host name and after that we have system time and then we have domain. After that you can have performance profile and you have your shell keys and at the end you have your pcp you can edit this one and you can enable and disable this one as well at the top right corner we have a button that says restart if you just click on this drop down arrow from here either you can restart your ubuntu server or you can shut down not only that 
here you have a dashboard on the left side of your screen so just go to that option and from here you will have all the information on one screen basically this is the same information that we were having from this the only difference is now we have all the information in a dashboard section so here you can see you have all the readings the reason why i have chose to go to my dashboard is here you can see here we have ubuntu this is our server at the moment which is running and not only that we have a choice we can add more server here as well to do so just click on this plus sign and from here you just need to add the ip address or the host name of your other server and with the help of that you can add that server and at a single time you will be able to manage more than one server so how cool it is earlier we used 127.0.0.1 for our ubuntu server and now you will have a different ip address for your other servers so just add that here select your color and just click on add and you will be able to use your server successfully so this is how cockpit helps you to manage your infrastructure like servers simultaneously now i'll head back to my host and here we have different sections first one is overview which is this one then we have our logs so if i go to my logs here you will see all the system logs in here and these logs will help you in case if you run into any problem or into any error and not only that you can have your logs as per your liking for example if you want to see the logs on the base of emergency alert and above and if you want to see critical logs and then you have error and above so these are different categories that you can choose and you can go with for example i want to go with critical and above log so i'll just click on it so on the top i will have all those logs that are critical for my system so this is how you can have different types of logs into your system i'll go with everything and then here you can have your services as well at the moment all services are selected after your logs we have our storage so i'll just go there so here we have all the information about our storage and how much of resources are being used by each process here as you can see loop 1 is using 55 megabytes loop 10 54 and so on and if you scroll down here you will have more and more detailed information about your ubuntu server at the moment the total space is 30.9 gigabytes and 8.59 have been used till now here you have other devices that are connected or you can say that are running at the moment then here we have other information and at the bottom we have our storage logs so you can check all these logs and you will have more detailed information about the storage of your server and if you go to your networking section obviously as the name suggests you will have all the information and options that you can have with respect to your ubuntu server for example you can create a bridge you can create a bond and you can also add a vlan into your ubuntu servers with the help of your cockpit and here you have interfaces and you have all the information like we have ens we have bridge in here and all the information well basically this was not available earlier because ubuntu used to have network management from network dash manager but now they have changed to netplay.io and because of that we have interfaces available in here other than that we have our unmanaged interfaces here as well that was all about the networking and now i'll go to my account section if i just click on this one here we have two accounts first one is root which is by default and this is the account which is for me in case if you want to create new account and you want other people to join in and manage this server using cockpit you can create an account for that purpose and you can create a new user so just enter your first name your username then enter your password confirm it and then you can just click on create in order to have new account after that we have our services that we can manage and we can go through and then we have our applications that will be connected or you can say that you can connect with your ubuntu server at the moment we only have one that is storage and we have already talked about it after that that is a really important one and that is software updates if you just click on it you will have all the updates available in regard to your ubuntu server for example all of these are available at the moment and they are ready to install in case if you do not see any of the update in here you can always check the updates by just clicking on this button that says check for updates after that click on install updates and it will install everything and you will have everything as latest one in your ubuntu server with the help of cockpit 
At the end, we have our terminal. In case if you want to run some commands and you do not want to open your terminal or if you think that it is a bit of hectic, so just need to open the terminal that is already available in your Ubuntu server with the help of your cockpit GUI and it will work just like any other terminal out there. And now I will talk about one very important aspect in here and that is software updates. In case if the updates does not work or you are not able to download the update, that might be because of the reason that Ubuntu have changed the network management from network manager to netplan.io. So for that purpose, we have to make a change in one file. So I'll head back to my Ubuntu server. So this is my Ubuntu server and now we need to edit one file. First of all, we need to go to a directory which is cd backslash etc backslash netplan. Hit enter. So we are into our netplan directory. If I ls here, I have a file with the name of 00-installer-config.yaml. We need to edit this file. So I will write here sudo vim space. I will write the name of the file, hit enter, give it your password. And now we need to edit one line or you can say we need to add one line in this file. And the line will be render colon network manager. And after that, we just need to get out of this file. And now you will not see a problem in terms of the updates of your Ubuntu server through your cockpit GUI. And now let's head back to our cockpit GUI. There is one more benefit of having cockpit GUI. And that is you can manage your virtual machines with the help of it as well. But for that purpose, we have to install a utility or you can say we have to install a plugin for that purpose. And the command for that is sudo apt install space cockpit hyphen machines after that just hit enter it will download and install a plugin or a utility for you here you can see it says 172 megabytes of additional space will be used so just press y hit enter and now it will get downloaded and installed and now we need to reload our cockpit so i'll just reload this one and here you can see we have a new section in here that says virtual machines if i just click on this one here it says connecting to virtualization service. So basically in here you will have all the services or all the virtual machines that you have and running at the moment. At the moment I am not running any one of those. That is why I do not have anything in here. We have a one network that is running and we do not have any storage pools. In case if you want to create a new virtual machine in your cockpit GUI, just click on create virtual machine and from here just follow the instruction on your screen like give it a name installation type operating system storage and other things and after that just click on create and your virtual machine will be created after that you have an option that says import vm so you can also import a virtual machine in your cockpit gui as well for that again follow the instruction given on the screen and you will be able to do so and that brings us to the end of today's video and i hope now that now you have a better understanding and now you know that how you can set up a web interface for your Linux servers with the help of Cockpit and what are the different features that Cockpit has to offer you. And if that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.